Levi, how are you doing? Um, a question, you're coming in now really as the top American rider in this Tour de France in terms of your chances in the GC. How do you, how do you approach this tour this year? Is it a different mindset for you? You're coming in with a stronger team support, more experience behind you. What's your confidence level? How does that mean? What does it mean to you to be the top American this year? I would just say that I'm, uh, I'm very uh, motivated this year to be back with the Discovery Channel. And it's such a strong team. I mean, this team won seven tours in a row. And, uh, you know, to be with riders like, like George and Contador and with Johan and Dirk in the car, um, I feel very confident in, in everyone, and, and that gives me a lot of motivation. Uh, Johan, how do you feel about uh, your colleague, Bjarne Ries, almost being forced out of the Tour de France by the ASO? Um, has he been forced out? I think I think he has been he has received a, a credential, as I understand yesterday. Um, you know, it's difficult for me to comment on that. Um, I personally, um, first of all, he has uh, made these confessions about uh, his earlier career. Um, personally, I I don't see the reason why Bjorn Rees, in his actual occupation, um, would not be able to attend the Tour de France. I think it has nothing to do with it. Um, he has confessed. Um, I think he, uh, he is feeling the consequences of it, but uh, it, it doesn't, uh, I don't see why ASO would be able to not let him come to the Tour de France. So uh, I heard yesterday that he's here, and I think he's going to do a good job with his team like he has done in the past. The International Riders Association have called on the UCI to make uh, team managers, doctors, and team staff sign a a similar commitment to a clean sport. Would you sign that document? Would you accept the, the risks involved? Do you think it's legal that you have to sign that document? Um, well, first of all, I didn't really see that request. But uh, if, it, uh, if it comes from the UCI and uh, it's, uh, it's a request that is acceptable and well argumented, I think as the teams, we should have to talk about it. And uh, if it's acceptable, I have nothing against signing it. Uh, last year, Discovery Channel started without a real leader. Uh, this year, you are the real leader. That means that after Lance Armstrong, you're the first man who is the real leader in this team. Gives that a special feeling, gives that a special pressure for the coming weeks? I'm very proud to be the leader of, uh, of the classification for the Discovery Channel team. Um, I will say, however, that you know we do have other riders on the team that will... Uh, you know, be going after their own goals. Um, you know, guys like Gusev and Popovich and, and George Hincapie, who uh, I think, you know, will, will win at least one stage between the, them. And, and uh, so that's to say, you know, we're not set up the way we were when Lance was here. Uh, I'm not Lance Armstrong. Um, so, you know, there's, a, there's other riders on the team, and, and I think that you're going to see a lot of Discovery Channel uh, jerseys in the breakaways and, and attacking. Green ones. Green ones, yeah. Things seem to be so loaded toward the second half of the race uh, with the time trial late and uh, the Pyrenees stages looking uh, perhaps harder than the Alps. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Um, well, the strategy, you know, really sort of already uh, has some history to it in the fact that I think I'm coming into this tour a little more fresh and uh, probably a little farther off my, my best form than I have in the past couple of years. Uh, you know, last year I, I definitely uh, was too good too early, uh, you know, a month too early. So this year I've tried to push that back because the end of the tour is so difficult. How do you see the team, uh, dis the Discovery team, as regards the hierarchy uh, in the peloton of the Tour de France, um, because Astana is obviously one of one of the strongest teams this year, and how is that um, going to affect or dictate your your strategy for the race? Yes, as you say, um, in my opinion, also Astana is definitely probably on the paper the strongest team, definitely with uh, three strong leaders who, in theory. Uh, they have three riders who could win the Tour de France, Vinokurov, Kluden, and uh, Kaszewskin. 
Um, is that a good thing? I don't know. Uh, until now, it has been proven that it was not always the right strategy to have different leaders. Um, but at the same time, things have changed, and uh, I expect it to be a very open race. So uh, in my opinion, when, uh, when you have three potential winners, it's an advantage. Um, but to, to answer your question about uh, the ranking of the teams, um, I see ourselves definitely in the three, four strongest teams of the Tour de France. I would name Astana, uh, Kes de Parn, CSC, and Discovery as the four strongest teams, uh, maybe not in the right order.